Hey guys, I'm back again. It's me, Mujin Lord. I know it's been a while since I posted up my last tutorial, but today it's going to be something special. I know you guys are wondering how to create your own stages. For a while, a lot of people have been sending me messages on how to create stages. So, thanks to my friend Cypher Lucius, you got to check out his channel. He's the one who showed me how to create stages. So now, I'm going to give everyone the opportunity to be able to create their own stages. So let's do this. Let's check it out. Okay. Step one, which is very simple. First, you have to make your own stage using your Microsoft Paint program or any Paint Shop program that you have on your computer. It's very simple. I don't care if your stage is just a black blank screen. It can be anything you want it to be because it's just a tutorial just to get you started. So, after you create your stage, you make sure you save it as a BMP format, which means bitmap format. So, after you save it, you save it as a 24-bit bitmap format which is 24 bit color so after that go to on fighter factory the palette edit icon you click on it. now what you do is you go to your paint folder which says open image and what we do is we want to bring up our stage which we saved it as a bitmap now the thing is I already had all the stuff already prepared so for you guys, when y'all open this, you're not going to see your images wherever you saved your bitmap image of your stage. So what you do is you go to the bottom where it says Dissolve Paintbrush, which means PCX. You change it to Windows Bitmap, which is BMP, and your stage will appear, which mine is dark a bit. Click on it. Now over here, your image will pop up in this box right here. And what we're going to do is, in order to get the polish to work out right and get our colors, we click on Optimize. As you click on Optimize, there's your there's all your um palette colors of that stage. The next what we're gonna do is we're gonna save it. We're gonna save the image as a PCX file, which I have over here already. After we save it, you click out and you exit the palette. Now, what we're gonna do is next, we're gonna go to the sprite section. The sprite section right here is where we're gonna upload our PCX file. So you hit where it says change. You click on the blue folder and you click on your stage. Now, your stage is right here. It's opened up. So now, what we want to do is we want to center we're going to have to center our image in Fighter Factory in order to get this thing to work out right. So basically what we're going to do is which requires a few math calculations. So we're going to go going to do is we're going to go to the left section. The left section right here is where we're going to use. You have the x axis and you have the y axis. So basically, what we're going to do is, we're going to take the x-axis, which is our width, and take the y-axis, which is our height, and we're going to compare at the bottom, right here, where it says image size. My image size is 576 by 432. So basically, what we do is, we have to now take my x-axis and go get a calculator. I don't care where you get your calculator from, or you can use your Windows uh, calculator and accessory uh, section. Now what we do is we take our x-axis right here with the calculator and my x-axis is 576 and what we're going to do is we're going to divide it by 2 divide it by 2 and it equals 288 now what we do is we take the 288 and we put it in our x column right here now, for the y for the y axis is a little is a little tricky. You must know that the height for an average Mujin window is 240. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the height, which my height is 432, and we're going to do is we're going to take four. I'm going to take my 432. You guys take your y axis, and what you do is you take your y axis and you subtract it by 240, which is the moving screen. equals 192 so I take it and my y-axis has 192 so now it's going to fit properly so make sure so now what we're going to do is next we're going to we're going to save it we're going to save it as an SFF file you just hit save and you name it whatever your stage is so my stage is Dark Abyss. 
So now a box is going to pop up that says sheer pilot or individual pilot. So what we're going to do is since we're doing stages, we have to use this as individual pilot. So all you do is click OK. Okay. So here we go. Now we're going to move on. 